is the car show hosted by 70 Cars. Randy today brought his beautiful Oban as part of the 60th annual uh, West Coast um, coming here. So tell us about where you originally found the car. This car I bought out of Indiana, mm. but it had been sold new in California in 1932. It was the only one that the factory built with these disc wheels, solid disc wheels. Mm. Uh, and I have those shipping records, so I knew where mm -hmm. it had come from. Mm. It was restored in Detroit, Michigan by the man who was president of Ford Motor Credit in 1955. And uh, it, it was driven very little and parked most of its life until I acquired it and then I've been mm. driving it quite a bit since. So mm. in 1932 Auburn built 200 of these V12 convertible sedans and this is the only one that's a disc wheel rear mounted spare. Um, the design was originally a Murphy design but de redesigned by Al Leamy in Auburn, Indiana. So <clears throat> that's what I can tell you about the car. Well, aren't you lucky that you get to have all this information where the car was made and all that? Um, was it common to find all those information? Well, I'm an historian, so yes, oh. I dig. Yes, I dig. So, <laughs> yes, I dig. So, so, so yeah, it, um, you know, this automobile is a 400 cubic inch V12, mm. the three speed transmission, and a two speed rear axle. Mm. So, at 70 miles an hour, I'm just idling down the freeway. Uh, getting 14 miles a gallon, which isn't a lot, but for a 400 cubic inch 12, it's pretty darn good. So amongst the V12s, the big period of multi-cylinder multi engines in the early 30s, uh, it's probably the most drivable of all of them. So hydraulic mm -hmm. brakes, mm -hmm. drives kind of like a modern car. Mm. Okay. <laughs> what kind of carburetion is an engine? It's two uh, down Diraf Stromberg carburetors. One for each bank of six. Oh. I am stunned knowing that there are only 200 cars manufactured. It's not 200,000 of those. No, no, and no, no, only 200 of the four door convertible. How yeah. many are still alive? I think there's about eight. Wow. So, um, how many of, out of 200 still running, do you think? My memory is there's about eight. And you have pretty much all the information about well, seven others? All, all, all of them, yeah, sure. Wow. Yeah, yeah. wow. So. Are they part of this uh, club? Um, not, no, not always. Yeah. Not always. So we have a lot of car ownership, mm. Auburn's, Cords, and Duesenberg's, that mm. aren't member of any club. So, mm. so, so it isn't always. In fact, I would say less than 50% of them actually belong to a club. Um, what attracts you the most um, about this car? Well, I've been an Auburn enthusiast since high school, so, oh. you know, I've been playing with it a long time. Mm -hmm. That's two weeks ago, so, <laughs> you know, been playing with it for a long time, so, always, a fun. I have nine Auburns. Uh, this is the only four-door convertible I have, but, you know, I, I love it all. I'm a Duesenberg guy, I'm a Cord guy, I love it all. Oh, my goodness. So. Wow. I'm speechless. Oh, what it's like to, like... What kind of garage is that? Like yeah, yeah, it takes up a fair amount of space. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it takes up a fair amount of space. Do you drive those? Yeah, stuff? I try to drive most of them. I think yeah. I have a, I have about 35 cars, and I have about 26 of them running and driving. So it's a maintenance issue all, all the time. You got to make sure the glass is good and, the, you know, everything's up. But yeah, no, I love driving them. That's the fun of it to me, you know. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> um, did you ever have any happenings and stories on the uh, side of the street? No, I mean, I, no, 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 nothing bad, all, all positive, all yeah. good. So mm -hmm. I, I've, I'm actually, the Sovereign Court Duesenberg Club, I've been a member for 50 years. Mm -hmm. So, um, and, and it's been a, a lot of fun for a long time, so. Great. Um, what do you think is going to happen to this um, Coburn, um, no, Court Oven uh, Duesenbach Club well, in the future? You know, what's happening now is uh, 
because of the collectability of these cars, they're going into hands of larger and larger collections all the time. Mm -hmm. So the days of uh, one or two guys that have one or two cars, it's kind of going away. Mm -hmm. And it's becoming in, and, and I am one of those, I guess, too, it's going into the hands of larger and larger collections. Mm -hmm. So uh, mm -hmm. thus, you know, the value is maintained. Mm -hmm. uh, the old guys, unfortunately, are dying off. It's, you know, we have a, a rather uh, strong problem in, in this club we call grain of the hobby, you know, and it's mm -hmm. it has to do with this mm -hmm. hair thing. So, yeah. you know, we're all getting older and times are changing. You just have to change with them. But, mm -hmm. but the cars seem to be surviving well. It's mm -hmm. in the, you know, the hobby is surviving. Mm -hmm. So. Thank okay. you so much for bringing Thank your beautiful you. car. Thank you.